This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. War Chest is a two-player tactical strategy game or a four-player team game where your team is trying to control a certain amount of these control spots to win the game. Each player is going to get a troop of armies and they're going to get a bunch of these chips that go into a bag. It's a bag building game where you'll be drawing chips from your bag, using them to activate and then adding more to your bag as it goes on. As turns go on, you can do things like recruiting troops or bolstering and making them stronger or activating by spending others to moving and attacking or activating special abilities or even placing things face down to add different new troops to your bag. And they all work a little differently. Archers and Lanchers can attack from far away, but you want to get up close to them because they can't attack there. There's a total of 16 different troops that you can use to either draft or set up as historical battles. The two player games on this lighter side, trying to get six control markers out, and the four player team game opens up and you're trying to get all eight out to win. And the game comes with an amazing storage system to keep everything separate and easy to get out and put back. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. War Chest, fantastic production. Heavy, thick poker chips as your units. Uh, simple rules, but lots of depth. It has a lot of replayability. You can draft, you can set up historical battles, or you can take the starting set. The bag building is fun. Putting things face down so they don't know what you're burning to bring other units in. Uh, I like that you're you know trying to focus on one or two units or trying to diversify lots of interesting choices. Has a great arc to the game. Uh, and some of that randomness of the pulling from the bag keeps it sort of even keel. It, it levels the playing field. Uh, and it's basically Onitama on steroids. I really loved it. But there were some major negative things. No outlines on the area of control. So it's really hard to see which areas are the ones that are supposed to be controlled. And when you're on them, it's hard to see who actually controls it because it covers the tokens of who's controlling it. Why? Uh, it might feel too random for some because of the bag building, and sometimes the ending can be anticlimactic. You know who's going to win 10 minutes before it ends. But overall, that game's actually really fantastic. Two players awesome, four players okay. Uh, amazing. Let's get, I got a saxophone serenade. This has been the Game Boy Geek, helping you find and enjoy the next board game you'll love. This video was sponsored by Miniature Markets Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, video, and written game reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market, the online gaming superstore. Thousands of board games, discounted prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com.